smoking with the Migos. It's just me and me and Migos. Uh. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I got another video for you guys, and today is gonna be great because finally the 350 is back home from the shop, um, which means you know it's time to uh, it's time to release another hidden features video. Um, I've already gotten two parts off of the BMWs, and I feel like you know might as well get something else for the Z because it's just something that I do on my channel whenever I get a new car or you know a car that I feel like I'm gonna keep for at least a, you know more than three months. <laughs> so I, I want to learn things on my car, so I'm gonna just go ahead and get the car in the garage, just dig deep into it, try to learn a couple things, do some research, and get you guys a full list of some hidden features slash functions slash cubbies slash whatever that there is on this car that I didn't know when I first got the car because I am not a Z person and probably you guys aren't either. You guys are looking to buy a Z or you guys are, you know, just, just want to know why'd you, why'd you get a Z more. Um, I bought it because it's a Nissan, way more reliable than a Beamer. Um, it's still a sports car, so it does break down more than a regular Nissan. But hey, it's a Nissan, it's fun to drive, it's my first coupe, and it's a hard top manual. So uh, let's just see why a lot of teenagers love this car. Let's just dig into it. All right, guys, most times when you end up buying a used car, you can't just, you know, most times it doesn't come with the manual. Like this car did not come with the manual. Every other used car I've ever purchased really didn't come with the manual. Besides my BMW itself, my BMW did come with the manual, but when you pay that premium price at a dealership, you know, you better hope to God it comes with a manual. So this car obviously did not come with a manual. I'm gonna go ahead and just go around the car, see what kind of features it has, see what kind of stuff I didn't notice, you know, just by driving the car and um, try to gather some, uh, you know, some hidden features, some, you know, cool little quirks and uh, get back to you guys uh, when, when I find them. To be 100% real with you guys, there's not really much. I, what is this? I just noticed this. What is this? I just noticed like a dime in here. Ooh, what a dime, what a dime. I guess she's such a dime, look at that. Anyway, so I'm gonna show you guys a couple hidden features that I found. Uh, there's not really much. I found some on the internet. I just found like two as of now. I did contact my cousin. Um, he told me, I was like, do you know anything about your car that you didn't know? Because he, as you guys know, he has a T50Z, he has an HR model. He did tell me one thing. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and start showing you guys uh, what I found right now. So something that's on the DE models, so if you guys are gonna go ahead and uh, either pick up an HR or a DE, um, if you pick up a DE, some of them, as you guys can see here, have cup holders. Mine doesn't work currently. I'm gonna go ahead and take this dash apart and try to get that cup holder to work today. Um, that's gonna be like, you know, one of my goals for today. But yeah, that cup holder is supposed to come out. I didn't even know that was a cup holder. I don't know what that was, but apparently that was a cup holder after doing some research. Um, I'm also missing some things down here, and that's when I contacted my cousin. In this area as well, there's never supposed to be a glove box, but there's supposed to be some cigarette lighters. They don't have it on the 03 model. I believe it's the 04 and up. I know the HR models have it. I know a couple DE models have it. I just, I'm thinking the, the DE of the first generation, which is uh, the first year at least, 2003, which is this car, doesn't have that. And while I was on the passenger side, everything I noticed, you know, that was hidden that I didn't know was on the passenger side, because I was on the driver's side. So I knew everything on the driver's side of the console and everything, but I didn't know what was going on this side. So as you guys can see, another cubby right there, cubby right there. Obviously it doesn't have a glove box, but there's literally slots everywhere to put stuff in. Like there's that cubby be right there in the dash right underneath the radio which I installed center console has got a big giant like gap if you can put whatever you want in there getting into this car specifically this one is an 03 so this has heated seats I noticed the heated seats buttons in the center there so you guys can see heated seats buttons right there and what I also noticed is that it has electric seats. So if you guys look right there, there's a button for that. Same goes for the driver's side. So these are electric seats, they're leather. I believe the DE models have these, the HRs don't. I'm not sure um, exactly, but that's something I found in the DEs because I'm doing a lot of research. I didn't really find um, heated seats and electric seats and leather in most Zs. This was kind of like not really as common for me. I'm, again, I'm not a 350Z enthusiast just yet, but according to the research I have found so far, I haven't found this to be a, a common thing. Now going behind the 350Z driver, the passenger's driver's seat, um, <laughs> I don't know why this is here as if somebody's in the back and they're trying to get out. I don't know why that is there. Has a little cubby right here. And uh, this is what I found most interesting. 
Now, most of you guys that have these know that you have a little cubby spot right here, but I bet you, I was looking in here and I picked this up, and you have like a secret cubby underneath this cubby. So, you can pretty much hide something or some documents that are really, really important. You know, if you're trying to leave like your iPad in here or something, you can leave it in there so no one knows where it is. Because when you open this up, if you guys look in it, there's like nothing inside of there. But underneath this, there's like a secret compartment. And when I got the car, I didn't notice those two compartments. That one's broken. That's a cigarette lighter. That's all normal stuff. All right, guys, something I also found really nice is that, I don't know if this is all Nissans, but Zs are just very, very, very easy to program keys. All you really have to do is just put the key in the ignition six times and then click any button on here in the keys program. It's so easy on a 350Z. On a BMW, you have to take it down a BMW, pay $600 for a new key. You have no choice. This key cost me $3 and I programmed it in, you know, under maybe like two minutes. So all you have to do again, guys, put the key in six times. You hear a click, both lights will pop up, the turn signal lights. And then you just got to click any button and then get out the car, lock the car, unlock the car. And it's where it's good to go with the key, of course. Uh, not the key, the key fob. So very, very easy. I already programmed two keys with the car. Um, and yeah, as a BMW owner also, guys, you know, on my BMW key fob, I'm able to roll down the windows with my key fob. So after programming this key fob, my car didn't come with any key fobs. I was like, you know what? Let me just try it. So I held down the unlock button. As you guys can see, the windows actually roll down. I've never actually seen this in any Japanese car, um, at least not in this year, you know, 03s, like even 2010s, never seen this. Like at the time BMW had this, although only BMW had this, but apparently um, Nissan has this as well. You can't roll it up just like BMW. So the, the only way to roll it up is by putting the key uh, in the door and rolling it up. I think you can do it clockwise, windows go up. And of course you can stop it at any, you know, any level that you want. So that's pretty cool. You know, those are two extra things right there. Um, you can unlock the windows with your key or even just turn the key left or right to lock or unlock the windows. You can even roll it down. Um, you just put it in here. Counterclockwise goes right back down just like that. So that's really, really, really cool. And you know, when I got the car guys, the first place I went was in and out <laughs> You know, I had to get something good to eat because I was, you know, really happy with the car. But I, I couldn't figure out where you put a drink. And apparently, after doing some research, like, you know, today, I figured out that the cup holder is right there. I actually put the cup in my lap because I was like, oh, this is a sports car, race car, you know, no cup holders. Yeah, but I was definitely wrong. So there are cup holders on this car. Um, what you have to do is order the center console cup holders. They're supposed to come with the car, but some people take them out. I had a picture right here. Yeah, so there are some really, 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 uh, there are some cool cup holders you can put in the center console that sit up perfectly, that can actually fit any drink, so that's convenient. I'm gonna go ahead and order that, but I have to get the car registered, of course. Gotta get the car legally, you know, I can't even, what's the point of driving a car and put a drink in it if you can't even legally drive it? Yeah, so when I first got the car, guys, I didn't know how to pop the trunk on this car. I didn't have a key fob, so popping the boot was like, kinda like, I don't really know how to do it. So what I figured out was, you know, I was like looking around, I was, you know, grabbing right here. I was like, you can't pop this up. There's just no way to pop it up. I think I need a key fob. That's when I ordered the key fob. But then I just came to realize that right above that license plate right there, there's a button. Just like every other car, there's a button on the trunk. Um, they just kind of skipped it down to the plate and there's a button right there. If you go right here, there's a button right there. So, you know, that's kind of neat. Wish I knew that. Um, I couldn't even get the trunk open for the first week that I had the car. But um, yeah, so there, the button's there for that. And uh, if you're inside the car, you can even get it to open. It's not just standard, it's really inconvenient. There is no buttons right here, you know, in the driver's seat well or anything like that. The, the button, there's like a latch right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys where that latch is. All right guys, so I was, you know, I, I did some research and apparently if you're in the, inside the car, you can reach back here. So basically you can pull this out. I guess this is like an emergency trunk release. And when you pull that down, it unlocks the trunk. So there is another way to open up the trunk from the inside of the car, but you have to like literally just Climb into the trunk, basically. That is very interesting. I could have, I didn't even think of that at all. But um, yeah, you just basically pull that out, unlock the trunk, and you can just put it back in. And the last thing I found pretty interesting on my car, the manual headlights. You know, as a BMW owner, I kind of got spoiled with the whole luxury luxury aspect. And I don't even, like it's an 06, and I don't have any of this, you know, turn on manually headlights. It's very common in even newer cars, um, but, I, I wasn't used to this type of stuff, so when I, I when I get in the car, I notice when it's not on at night, obviously I can't see anything on the road, so I gotta turn it on, but I always forget to close it. So a good thing about this car, which is not common in a, a lot of cars, because my dad's truck, my, my, my parents' old Camry, didn't have this option. When you turn on 
your, your headlights. And as you can see, the headlights are on. So basically, the headlights stay on. Let me close the door real quick so this, this beeping stops. But yeah, basically, these headlights stay on for only five minutes. If you walk away from the car, lock the doors, and you forget your headlights on, like you're, you're doing something, you forget to close them, like I always do. I don't need to freak out, leave class, go back to my car to turn it off so I don't have a dead battery. The car automatically turns off the headlights. I find that really, really, really sick. Um, you know, just having this, this is just a nice feature. I mean, especially being a sports car, I really didn't think that they actually think about this kind of stuff. Um, because, you know, this stuff is not important for a guy that's trying to use his car as like a track build or something like that. But I mean, hey, that's awesome. I don't need to worry about, you know, letting my battery die. Now, of course, five minutes is still a lie. You can probably still kill your battery, but it prevents it from completely draining your battery. And that is the last one, guys. If you guys want to get a part two out and uh, probably just, you know, I, I, that was, I learned all this in about 30 minutes of research and digging into the car. So I bet you I can figure out some more. So if you guys want to get a part two and learn a couple more things about your Z, let me know. Um, if you BMW owners that, you know, that's the core of my channel. If you guys are into Zs or was, weren't into Zs, are you into Zs now at least? Finding, you know, a couple things here and there about this car. Um, obviously these aren't like the main seal the deal kind of things, but they kind of know, it's kind of cool to know, and how, you know, some things resemble uh, BMW features like rolling down the windows and stuff. But yeah, if you guys are looking forward to all this good stuff, smash the like button, I'll see you guys in the next one. Remember to stay humble, and uh, peace out. Shot a Himalayan and she's trying to get up on me. I tell her like Habibti, that's too hot on Malahi. What they are, I was raised with Somali. Everyone got a friend named Abdi. I'm from OT.